<laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear. And today our topic is very sensitive. Please listen carefully and learn carefully. Today we'll talk about something very touchy. You know, all my life I like trees. But now I cannot look at them. Lately, trees, they start converting to Islam. The trees in my town, they used to be Catholic. Some, they are Protestant. Uh, but now, we have Muslim trees. Hmm. Uh -huh. hmm. When I went to Asia, I found that some trees are Buddhas. Mm -hmm. And some trees are atheist. And this is, by the way, is very true. Mm. And uh, you know, uh, you like it or not, it's happening. And we take selfie with it. Sheikhs from around the world are coming. This is this is became the Kaaba now. They don't they don't go to the Kaaba. They go Hajj to go to see the tree. The tree is bending over. It must be bending to Allah. Hmm. Okay. And if you see the titles of the Muslims, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Miracle of Allah. Praying tree facing Mecca. Not only this tree is praying, is facing Mecca, brother. Unbelievable. And now what the Muslims are doing, they are praying next to it. But hold on, the tree have like it's holding up. It's, this is not the end of it. You see the tree? Their their Photoshop is not good. I mean this tree, look what it's tree. I mean where where is the praying to Mecca? Do you see uh, do you see the, the what to pray in Mecca? What is that man? In the other picture they took the they do Photoshop and they took the other uh, you know the they cut the branch at the top. Where is the tree praying to me? And now we take selfies and we are praying next to the tree. However, however, brother, you know, maybe you do not know that the Prophet of Allah, he converted a tree to Islam in his time. Yes, brother. I, I, I could not find the hadith for you in English. So I will do use uh, Prophet Google peace upon him to translate. This is IslamWeb.net, and here there is a guy asking about how authentic this story about the Prophet ordering a tree to move him from here to there, and not only that, the tree. She converted to Islam and she said the Shahada in Arabic. Now, scientifically proving that trees speak Arabic. I mean, this is not even a question. I'm going to uh, do a, like a Google translation. <clears throat> All right. In front of your eyes. So we can read together. Translate to English. Is it true this hadith about the story? Uh, let us see here. Okay. This website is stupid. It jumped. Okay. Is the hadith, this is the question, read carefully. State that the trees moved from a place to a place by the command of the Messenger of Allah. Is it true? Is it authentic? You know? Is it such a true hadith? Now, Google translation is not too much accurate, as you know, but it's okay. Praise be to Allah, and prayer and uh, 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 salute on the Prophet Muhammad. Okay. In Sunnah, it recited in the Sunnah of Durami that Ibn Umar, he said, we wear with Messenger of Allah, and uh, Allah pray on him and salute him, pray for, not to, uh, in trouble. 
and a Bedouin man, he say he came to Muhammad, you know, and he said, uh, "Where are you? Uh, where are you going? Who who are you? You know." Uh, uh, he said, which means Muhammad. He answered that we are uh, people who say there is no God but Allah. You know, and uh, and Muhammad is his messenger. Okay, so there is no God of Allah but Allah, and uh, Muhammad is his messenger. Hmm. The guy he just asked you, who are you? You say, tell him uh, the God not but Allah, but Muhammad is the messenger. Okay, and then he said, the better one he said uh, uh, to him. Uh, and who witness to what you say? Good question. The Bedouin man sounds like a smart uh, guy. He said to him, and who is the one who witnessed that you are a messenger of Allah? Uh, Muhammad, he said, answering this person. Uh, uh, sorry, the, the Bedouin, he said to him, who is the one who witnessed uh, to what you said? Then Muhammad said, this tree, this tree, witness to what I say. So the prophet, he called the tree from the other side of the valley. He called what? He called the tree. Hey tree, come here. And then the tree, I hope I will not lose internet because internet is kind of slow today. Too many Corona users. Uh, let us see. Is is it working? Still working? Okay. Look like we are fine. I have a bad connection. Will I delete my broadcast an hour? Hoping it's going to be good. So I don't know. Uh, what we can do? Delay it to later. Do you hear me now? It is still bad. Uh, okay we will go live later what I can do no connection for you it's better we convert the tree to Islam before we make it a barbecue. Do you hear me now? Oh, people hear me. I thought nobody hear me now. Oh, I, th I thought I'm speaking to myself. Okay, what we can do? I mean, connection sometime it might go. Guys, let us finish it fast. Let us finish it. Let us finish this fast, okay? So the prophet, he ordered the tree to come, come, tree, come. And the tree came. And not only that, the tree, she said, that she witnessed that there's no God but Allah and Muhammad is the Prophet. The three she said Shahada. The three she said Shahada. Now in the English translation, it doesn't come really true, uh, like uh, correct, like, you know, she, because in Arabic it's really funny. It says in Arabic, let me show you the Arabic, so Muslim will not say, it doesn't say that, CP. Yeah, we lost connection again. Let me see. No, not yet. All right, that's good. So look what in Arabic it says. And we change the Muslim to say your line. But they will say your line anyway. So he ordered a tree and he, she came in her belly, like, you know, like uh, creeping. The, the tree came creeping in the, in the ground. And then she stood between the head of the Prophet. And then she said that the, the Shahada... There's no uh, uh, potato but Allah, and there is no fraud but Muhammad. Three times. And she said that three times. And then she went back to where she was growing. And then the Bedouin, he went back to his people. And he told them to follow him. You know? And like, which means to convert to Islam, you know? Like, I mean, amazing. This person is amazing. Right now, is this hadith a sahih? Yes, 
even in the Google translation it says that this is Sahih. And here you notice that Islam is totally a fraud. Not because it doesn't make sense. I mean, okay, God can make miracles. But the Quran never mentions such a thing. So why it is in the Hadith, not in the Quran? Why the miracles of all prophets before Muhammad are in the Quran, but then we find miracles of Muhammad only in the Hadith? Muhammad is ordering a tree to convert to Islam. And that is not in the Quran. Why? Why the Muslims are not have, why Allah did Allah have time to tell us about Sulaiman? This uh, laughing at the end, the end she said to Sulaiman and all flying carpet. But Allah, He will not mention to us the miracle, amazing miracle of a, a tree saying Shahada. Actually, as long as my internet today is bad. I will go later and we will make our topic about animals converting to Islam. Kabich? Hoping that's I was you know I was going to speak about all of them actually now, but as long as our internet is horrible. Horrible. The tree converted to Islam. Muhammad his wife, she ran away from him and she married a Christian man. So Muhammad could not even convince his wife to convert to Islam. Muhammad, he ordered a tree to convert to Islam. And the tree, not only she spoke, the tree is walking to him. Which means the tree, she took off herself from the ground. She would draw his, her roots. I mean, guys, just imagine the story here. The tree, not only she spoke. I saw cartoon, a lot of cartoon. But here, the tree, did you, know, did you watch the, the Hori Buddha? When the tree, they walk from the wood and they join the army. This is exactly, brother, what happened. So the prophet want to prove to the Bedouin that he is a prophet. And the Bedouin, he said to him, who is going to witness that you are a prophet? Huh? Who is going? Muhammad, he said, okay, you want to see? Okay. Three, come here. And the tree, she start coming to the prophet. And not only that, brother, the tree is a creeping. So the tree, she will pull out her roots from the ground. The tree now without not standing, she is in the floor. Now the tree is a creeping like a snake in the floor. Going all the way from the other side of the valley, brother. And then when she arrived in front of a prophet Muhammad, she stood up. Now, don't tell me, please, how the tree stood up. I mean, the story, all of it makes sense. So why you want to ask about the student up thing? Yeah, come on, it's, it makes sense. I mean, it's easy. So the tree now, uh, I don't know. Let me see. We have a hadith about Muhammad, uh, the camel speaking to him. Uh, but we will leave that for later. We have... Quran speaking about the guy with the two horn who found the sun set in the murky water. Eh, we will leave that for later. We have Quran and we have hadith stories about horses and a mule and donkeys. We will leave that for later. But I want to know how the tree stood up and she walked all the way from the other valley and she came and then she spoke in Arabic saying Shahada and then she went back where it's a girl. Why she didn't tell her? She had to go back, man. I mean, she had to go back where it's a girl. And why this story is not in the Quran? The Quran says, that Allah gave Muhammad no miracles. The Muslim they might quote for you that there is a miracle about the moon splitting. That is a stupid claim because even the Quran does not claim that there is a miracle there. 
it says that that judgment day is near and the moon is split. So the moon is split, there's an eclipse happened, and the stupid Muhammad, he thought this is judgment day. As many false prophets, each time they see something in the sky, they say, okay, judgment day. You know, you want to see them go all over YouTube. That exists in our time. The moon fart of judgment day. The moon is uh, blue, the judgment day. The moon is red, the judgment day. Trump in TV, judgment day. The Pope is judgment day. I mean, those, those they, are, they are all over there. False prophet, false people are all over. But the Quran confirmed that we refrain from sending signs. Allah show what what saying what what Allah saying? He refrain. What refrain mean? He did not send any signs to Muhammad. And he is telling us why. From sending sign only because of man of former generation treated them as false. And now he's giving you an example. We send the she camel, and this is another another joke in the Quran. According to Quran, there's a guy, he whose people they ask him for a miracle. So he ordered a rock to uh, become a camel. Really? The rock became a camel. Female camel. So Allah, he gave a miracle before Muhammad as an example, the camel, the rock who became a camel. But people don't believe it anyway. So Allah, he have a strike. I will not give you no more miracle because each time I send you a miracle, you don't believe it. So how Muhammad, he did this miracle? If the Quran says that his God refrain, so the one who made Muhammad do this miracle cannot be Allah, must be maybe the devil, if it's true. For Allah said, I refrain. Did Allah refrain or not? If Allah saying he refrained, but in fact he did not, that means the Quran is a joke. And why this miracle is not mentioned in the Quran? Allah have time to speak about the miracle of the camel, of someone who was long before Muhammad, nobody knows who was he. But Allah have no time to say to them, do you see what the tree converted to us now? Didn't you see? Didn't you see the camel speaking to the prophet? Did you see the, 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 the stone saying to the prophet, Assalamu alaikum? And the prophet answered back. Why Allah don't say, don't you see? That the prophet, he did all those things we can find in the hadith. Even the prophet, he made the lizard come back to life and he says shahada why Allah don't see don't say don't you see the lizard I made him alive for the Prophet Muhammad but he said to us that Jesus he made people alive how come the miracle about Jesus making a human being alive is mentioned but the miracle about Muhammad making lizard come back to life and say let's do Allah Muhammad and the fraud of Allah why because simply all those stories are a fraud this is the religion of a fraud. All those stories are fabricated to make people believe in such a garbage man. And by the way, when I say a garbage man, I'm not insulting. You know, I know, everybody knows that Muhammad used to take a shower literally in garbage. Literally. You don't believe me? This is Muslim stories. This is Muslim books. Do you see it? This is Muslims witnessing how Muhammad take a shower. Obviously, this man, he have a mental issue. There's no human being have little brain. He would do that. Even dogs would not. If you see your dog jumping in the water like this, you will not allow your dog to get inside your house unless you wash him again. Even turtle will not jump in this water. But rat will do. I think rat will love it. Hmm? Well, my friend, I don't know what to do. The connection is bad. The connection is good. What we can do for now? So I'm not going to continue as long as the connection is bad. 
but we will continue later. We will continue about speaking about the miracles uh, of the animals and Prophet Muhammad. But as you see, all of those are fabrications and Muslims, they have no proof of what they claim. Right? Uh, did you read uh, Mark 11, 12, 25? Uh, Mr. Rabaka, Rabaka, uh, you want me to read Mark for you? Okay, Rabaka, are you willing to call me live on air and we will read Mark for you, brother? And then either we will laugh at you or you will laugh at yourself. Brother, do you dare? If I open my sky for you, Abdul, if I open my sky for you, are you willing to call me and read Mark? Mm -hmm. Sweetie, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Did you read Mark 11, 12? What about Mark 11, 12, my friend? Mm -hmm. Call me if you are a man so we can laugh. Potato. You know, not only... You see the Muslims, they make videos saying Christian Prince, he got f uh, uh, fake Muslims. Uh, I don't know who is calling me. And all of you are fake Muslims anyway, because none of you follow Islam. Muhammad himself is the first fake Muslim. He never follow Islam. He says to Muslim men, you can have four wives. Muhammad, he have unlimited. You have to do abolition. Muhammad, he pray without abolition. You cannot have sex with women without witnesses. Muhammad, have sex with women without witnesses. A fake person is someone he is above the law. He create a law, but yet he is the last one to follow it. For he is a fraud. He is a hypocrite. Right? Now, a person, he will say to you, this, this idiot, he says, Do you know that Jesus, he cursed the tree and the tree died? Hmm. Hmm. And he will say to you, well, Jesus, uh, he thought the tree... Uh, have a fruits, you know. Uh, in fact, the story there is showing clearly that the Messiah have a power not only over, over nature, over dead and life. Fig tree here, the story of the fig tree, because fig tree is extremely hard to kill. You can cut the fig tree, will come back. You cut it again, will come back. You cut it again, will come back. And here is Jesus, he wanted to show his disciples, and those disciples are writing what happened. It's not Jesus talking here. They are saying, well, we went with him, hoping that there is a uh, there is a fruit in this tree and then he cursed the tree because it's not the season for the tree to give a fruit so it's normal for a tree not to give a fruit but jesus he wanted to show them that if you don't give a fruit there is no excuse of season to me i am god i am god you don't say to me there is no season so he cursed the tree to show them that the tree who do not give a fruit will be thrown in hellfire and the tree die immediately. So you are uh, laughing at this. This is an amazing miracle. And if you are laughing at this, you should laugh at your God, Allah, who said that Jesus, he did way more strong miracle than this. Jesus, he knew what even you hide in your houses, the Quran says. So Jesus, he knew what they're, they're, they're in their head. And he wanted to give them an example of what his judgment day will be. That I will ask you for the fruit. And the one who don't give a fruit, he will be cut off and he will be thrown in hellfire. Do you have an answer, Abdul? We did read for you, Mark. Amazing miracle. The fig tree in the Bible is, uh, resemble the sin. The fig tree in the Bible re resemble uh, uh, how strong it is. And everybody knows that fig tree, you just plant in the front, uh, ground, you don't, even, even without watering. They are so powerful, so strong. You do not need to do any care for them. They are so powerful and you cannot kill it. You have to take it all the way from the roots in order to kill it. Yet Jesus, he cursed the fig tree and the fig tree died. So if you are saying this is not a miracle, we have to prove it. 
For me, I have a reason to prove to prove that Muhammad is a fraud. Why? Because the Quran of Muhammad, not the, not the book of the Christians, saying that Allah He refrained from sending miracles. Somebody saying Jesus He destroyed a perfect tree because He was arrogant. Well, my friend, you are stupid to the point you forgot that Jesus is the one who created the tree, and Jesus He can destroy the tree. Why not? Tree are made for us, for us as a man. And Jesus, he wanted to show the man what is the purpose of you to exist, not only the tree. So Jesus not only can destroy the tree, can destroy you too. With God, he destroy us every day. Don't he take our soul every day? So your stupidity is that because he's arrogant. Now, as long as you are talking about this, let us go to the Quran. Mr. Uh, just for a joke, just to show you how Muslims, when they try to make a comment, to defend Islam, they got their prophet busted. If we go in the Quran, we will find your God ordering his prophet to kill a boy. Hmm? Why? Because this boy in the future he might disobey his parents. Is that true? You are wondering how Jesus, he destroyed a tree and you are complaining about destroying a tree. But you are not worried about a boy who was slaughtered by cutting his head and by smashing his head in the ground. Why Allah he want to do this to a little boy? Because Allah is arrogant? So a Muslim he is complaining, why Jesus cursed the tree? Okay, why you are killing a boy? This boy is a Muslim boy from a Muslim family. And Moses says to Al-Khadr, Prophet Al-Khadr, Moses is sent by Allah for a training. Imagine, Prophet Moses is sent to Al-Khadr. Who is Al-Khadr? Al Khadr in Arabic means the green. Why he was called Mr. Green? Because according to Islam, he drank from the fountain of youth, and then since then, any grass he sit on it, it turned to be green. Now, for sure, this is a true story, and nobody can deny it. Me, myself, I drank from the fountain of youth. That's why I don't get old. So Moses went to learn from Al Khadr. And Al Khadr, he walked by and he saw a little boy playing in the street. So Al Khadr, he cut him, he slaughtered him. How Al Khadr he slaughtered this boy? Let us read together. Because you might say, it doesn't say that, CP. I know you. Trust me, I know you, brother. You will say it doesn't say that, CP. You will say it. Okay. Let us see. Give me a second. Uh. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> In a second, the Muslim they will regret making a comment about Jesus. In a second, just wait. They will wish they did not. Let us understand the logic of the Muhammadan. They are upset for cutting a tree. By the way, your prophet, he cut the trees and he burned them, the trees of the Jews. I mean, your enemy is the Jews. Why you are burning the trees? Brother, we will go there. So let us see what happened here. I will open the interpretation so the Muslim, they will not say, a Christian prince is making things up. And I will put it for you in the front of you in the screen. Whatever it says, I will show it as it is. Here we go. This is the Sir Ajalain, and this is the official government of the scumbag, the King of Jordan. So they set off after leaving the ship, making their way on foot until they meet a boy, meh, boy, who had not yet reached property playing with other boys among whom his face was fiercest. 
and he al khadr he slew him by slitting his throat with a knife while he lay down or by tearing his head off with his hand or by smashing his head against the wall are you there abdul so you are worried about jesus cursing the tree a tree we cut the trees every day your bed made from a tree, your window made from a tree, your chair made from a tree, and now you are worried about a tree? You are a prophet burn trees just for revenge. Now we have a boy who he did not do anything wrong. Nothing. Even the Quran witness, he did not do anything wrong. Remember, the Quran says that Moses says to him, you did this to innocent person. Isn't it according to Muslims they say that in the law of Moses, which Muhammad supposed he had dot, that if you kill one innocent person as if you kill all mankind, they keep quoting this verse for us. By the way, even the Quran says this was a law for the Jews. Moses, he said to Al Khadr, You killed an innocent child. He did nothing wrong. He killed nobody. Why you killed him? Al Khadr, he said to him, You idiot. I told you, you cannot have patience with me. You are just a kid, you idiot. You are a potato. It's like Christian Prince speaking to Abdul, you know? So Musa said, uh, Khadr said to Musa, you idiot. I told you, you, don't, you cannot have patience with me. You are stupid. It's hard for you to understand, you idiot. And then Al Khadr, he explained to the idiot Musa why he killed the boy in verse number 18. And as for the boy, his parents were believers and we feared lest he should oppress them by rebellion and disbelief. Look at this. He killed the boy because he feared that when he grow, he will leave Islam and he will be a rebellion. That's mean I can kill anyone. I fear that when he grow, he might be bad. Correct? That is your stupid Quran statement. This is a stupid Allah. This is not the stupid Al Khadr. We don't believe in this guy, Al Khadr, the fountain of youth and this garbage. This is your madness. But this is the logic of Allah, who Allah he taught to Al Khadr, who Al Khadr now is teaching Musa. If you remember in the hadith, Musa, a guy, he came to him and he said to him, If there is anyone know about Allah more than you, Musa, he said, No. Allah, he spoke to Musa right away. He says, No, 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 you are wrong. I have a servant who knows more about, about me more than you. Musa said, where? How? When? He told him, go. Go and you will find him. And then the story goes to the end. All right. Uh, CP, justify your Bible without hiding behind the skirt of Islam. If Jesus was so loving, he has destroyed a perfect tree. Okay, I will go with your logic, guys. I will go with your logic. I hope you are a man enough to stand behind your logic, but in a second you will say, I don't like my logic, I spit on it. Huh? This is your prophet, your donkey. And those are perfect trees. Not only he cut them, he burned them. He could not curse them to kill them. He burned them. Do you see it? You see, I'm going with your stupid logic. Don't hide behind the skirt of Islam. Now you donkey, you tell me why you're a prophet. He burned the trees. He killed his enemies. They are dead now. Why you are burning the trees? And by the way, I like it when you say the skirt of Islam. Muhammad, he, he was wearing his wife's skirt, as you know. Did your prophet did your prophet burn the trees? No, Jesus never. Where it says he was ignorant, because he said there's a fruit. This is not what Jesus said. This is the disciple. They are walking with him, and they said, "You know, we went there because we were hoping to have a fruit there." Jesus did not say, uh, "You know, this tree have a fruit. Let us eat from there." You know, you know where it says they are treated. Jesus, by cursing the tree, he confirmed that this tree should give a fruit. 
but it's not even there it says it's not the season for it so they knew it's not the season and Jesus he knew it's not the season and Jesus confirmed that I don't care for a season I am God and you have to give me the fruit so when you go in the judgment day this is a this is an example for a human being my friend it's not about the tree but because you are a potato and now you're a prophet he is burning the trees for what reason I want one Muslim to tell me why the land is his now he took over it he stole their money he killed his enemies he took their land and now he is burning the trees for what reason I will tell you why for he is mentally ill and the funny the Muslim they have articles about the prophet the prophet he encouraged us to yeah to grow trees here we go it's in the front of you the prophet burned that that palm trees of Beni and Nodair do you see it and the the burning was so hard very horrible to the point you can see it from far away and a Muslim is talking about Jesus Jesus is ignorant okay you see I will go with you about Jesus is ignorant according to you that means the Quran is a book of lies right because if the Quran is saying Jesus he can tell you what you hide in your houses that means the Quran is lying correct guys does the Quran knows even what people think yes the Quran says that so which one of them is it truthful your Quran who's saying that Jesus he knew even what people they hide in their houses which means not only you are saying he's uh, uh, ignorant all right the Quran saying that Jesus he have ability of God he knew what you hide and what you eat read carefully he quick the dead eh, the Muslim they say by Allah leave prove it and I declare to you what you eat what you declare what what is inside your stomach I declare to you not only that what you store in your houses so if Jesus in the Quran he declared to you what you store in his houses Jesus in the Bible do not know what the trees store inside her that's mean you just confirm that your God Allah is a fraud for if the Bible confirmed that Jesus was ignorant the Quran then is a fraud you are the one who said Jesus was ignorant not me Correct people? You are the one who confirmed that Jesus you do not know. And nowhere in the, in the Bible it says that. That's your own lie and we got you busted. Stop jumping like a monkey. And you coward, you, wanna, you know the funny, the Muslim they say, no true Muslims are calling Christian prince. Where are the true Muslims? They don't exist, they are potatoes. They make videos to refute me, but none of them dare to call me. The true Muslims, I'm talking about the true Muslims, the Muslim Sunni. They are the most coward people ever you can imagine. They are heroes behind their screen, but they cannot call me. And the funny, they say, I am hiding behind my screen, so why you don't call me? Let us see who's hiding. Prove your point, and people will be the judge anyway. Forget what about what you will say and what I will say. At the end of the day, people will be the judge. Either people they convert to the stupid Islam, the religion of boobs and penises, or they will accept what I am saying and they will accept Christianity, or maybe they will not accept both. What is your worry? The worry is very simple. You cannot make it and you know you are no match. Because whatever you say, we will get you busted. And here we go. This is an example. Now here we know go back to the to the point of zero. As you see, the Quran mentioned all those miracles of Jesus. Why the Quran did not mention the miracle of Muhammad converting the tree and the tree walking to his direction and saying Shahada? Guys, are you getting my point? If we ask Muslims, which one is important for you? Muhammad or Jesus? They will say Muhammad. Who is the best of mankind? They say Muhammad. Who is the most beloved by Allah? They say Muhammad. Okay, we got it. Muhammad. Now, so why Allah, he mentioned every single miracle about Jesus according to the Quran, including raising people from death, including creation from the clay of a figure of a bird, which nobody can do. And then he breathed into it. 
why this is in the Quran but we cannot find the miracle of Muhammad converting the tree people be honest can't we be can sh shouldn't we ask this question then go then just just get out of here if you are a man call me if you are a man not a son of Muta, call me you are just like a bug you keep repeating the same thing and you are boring at least change the question or call me and let us discuss but you are son of Muta. A prophet who allow men and women to rent each other and then he want to talk about dignity and we cover our women. You cover your women but you rent them? Son of Muta. Repeating the same question. Here we go. I blocked you because you are boring now. The same question you asked me, I answer you already. You want to repeat it? Go. Repeat it yourself. Spammer. This is the best you can do. In the front of you, we find that every single miracle according to the Quran is mentioned in this verse. All of them, no exception. Starting from Jesus being the creator. You know, maybe we should we should uh, uh, <coughs> we should ask Muslims a very simple question. Okay, Allah is the creator, and now Jesus, he is breathing into it. What does that mean? Guys, did you notice here? I will make a video just about this. They say that the one who created from the mud the bird is Allah. So Jesus is breathing into which for what reason? You see, breathing, if I am the one who do breathing, it means I am the one giving life. You want to say Allah did it, you want to say no. It's me who gave the breathing. I want any Muslim, big ass, small ass, those who put turban in their head like the size of their ass. Can you tell me why Jesus is the one who breathed into it? You see, Jesus did not make a figure of a bird and he say, Allah, please make him a bird. No, he breathed into it. What do you want more? Even in your Yellow Pages book, the stupid Muhammad, he made errors. Those are errors of religion. Why? Because Muslims, they claim that Jesus is just a prophet. This is an error of ideology. Because you stupid Muhammad, you claim that Jesus is a prophet. And then you said he breathed into it. How God, he created Adam in the Quran. He breathed into the mud. As simple as that. Okay, how Jesus, he created the bird, he breathed into it. If we ask the Muslims, when Allah, he breathed into the mud, what he did, they will say he gave life. Question. When Jesus, he breathed into it, he gave what? Life. And if it is not Jesus who gave life, then why he is the one breathing in it? You know, this is what the stupidity can bring. Garbage in, garbage out. Uh, guys, my, my internet is bad. I apologize. Uh, too much stress in, because, uh, uh, you know, coronavirus and my internet sometimes is even is gone uh, in the location I am in right now. So I apologize for the internet. We will try to go live on air later, you know, and we will uh, uh, continue getting this region busted. So leave your comment. And all Muslims are welcome. Real Muslims. I want real Muslims to call me because Muslims, they are saying fake Muslims calling me. Where are you? Where, where is it? The funny, those who they are speaking about fake Muslims, they are the last one there to call me. Did you notice? The potatoes, the sons of Mutaz, the sons of one night stand marriage, and his mother, they get paid for it. They are saying that the one who call me are fake. Why? Because they leave Islam. So why you don't call me yourself? Where are you? Why you are just watching? Here we go. You are saying that those who they are calling, they are fake Muslims. We need you, my friend. Allah, he need you. Let me breathe into you so you might come alive.
cowards. Cowards and sons of mutas. And may Allah enjoy muta with you. Okay, guys, the the internet is bad, so what we can do? Very bad. You know, I have a feeling that it is YouTube, not necessarily mine. I'm not sure, like uh, because uh, YouTube is acting up too. You know, so it it is possible that this is YouTube thing. I'm not sure. Anyway, we will go back uh, on air again. And sometime the internet, usually most of the month actually, the internet here is very good. And actually my internet speed is very fast. But the upload speed is the problem. And because people don't care really for the upload speed, because usually people download, not upload, like watching movies, etc. My upload speed is extremely fast. But the upload sometimes goes down to zero. So, as you see, Muslims, they have no answer. They complain and they make their own fabrication. They are willing to do anything to insult Jesus. For Jesus is their enemy. Christ is the enemy of Islam. Islam is an antichrist cult. The Bible confirmed, saying, Who is the antichrist? Is the one who denied the Father and the Son. And this is the purpose of Islam. To divert you from the truth, from the Messiah, from the one who created from the mother bird, you see, the one who gave the blind eyes, the one who can see, can make the one who don't see, see, the one who cannot walk, walk, even look, even he quickened the dead. And look, the stupid Muhammad, what he said, I quickened the dead by the leave of Allah. But you just said, I, you stupid idiot donkey. If you are saying, I quicken the dead, it's mean I quicken the dead. By the leave of Allah, not by the leave of Allah, this is a claim. But you confirm that Jesus says, I quicken the dead. He did not say, Allah quicken the dead. Do you understand, people? Where is your God? Fix your internet problem. My friend, my God is the one who gave me the gift so I can humiliate your prophet and you cannot do anything about it. And about the internet, where is your God to fix the internet problems of Muslims all over the world? Where is your God to feed the Muslims in Somalia? Instead of the Christians, they are sending their missionaries to teach the Muslims about Christianity and the Muslim complain that we are giving them sandwiches and Muslim they exchange in Allah for a hamburger. Hmm? Where is your God brain? The God who will speak about flying carpet. Where is your God to fix Muhammad Billy's stomach when he was dying from poison like a rat? Which one is more important? My internet or a prophet who die like a rat? Where is your God Allah? Allah he saved Jesus. This is what the Muslim they say. Not only he saved him, he cloned him, man. Allah the cloner. Allah the cloner confirmed in Islamic religion how Allah the cloner he saved Jesus but yet Muhammad he died by poison like a rat can't he clone a billy stomach for him to save him don't clone the whole Muhammad you clone his billy so what about Allah fixing the, the poison of Muhammad instead of fixing my internet and Muhammad is suffering the prophet in his element in which he died used to say do you see the word used let me explain to you what the word used mean he used to say 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 oh aisha you screw my day oh aisha you screw my day i still feel the pain oh Aisha you screw my day oh Aisha you screw my day ah, hoo, ah, hoo, ah, hoo. the pain is there caused by the food I, I ate in Khaybar I mean the guy he ate in Khaybar four years ago and the food he ate in Khaybar Causing him suffering for four years and Allah did not fix it. 
Uh, my internet will be fixed in 15 minutes maybe. And the one who will fix it is not God, is a technician. What God have to do with my internet, you idiot? But your God who saved Jesus from the Jews, why he did not save Muhammad from the Jews, especially the Muslim confirmed that the one who put the poison for him is a Jew. It says they are Khaybar. This is the tribe of the Jews. Huh? All those questions, they have no answer. For this is a cult, stupid cult. Followers of the guy who died by poison. Prophet Muhammad died by poison. If we call Zach and Ike and we ask him how the Prophet died, what he will say? Prince the Prince. First of all, the Prophet he died by poison. But this poison was not a right poison as you claim. Uh -huh. Okay, prove to me it's not a right poison. This poison is very well known and it exists right now in Walmart. Where? In Walmart. Okay, this poison is for what? It is not for rat, it is for cockroaches. Oh, thank you, Zach and Nag. The poison which killed your prophet was not made for rat, it was made for cockroaches. That make a difference, to be honest with you. Huh? Then you are worried about my internet? Hmm. Unbelievable. Allah want to save Jesus, but he don't want to save Muhammad. You see how many ideas the Muslim they gave me now to make videos? Just in their questions, their complaint. They think they can refute me, but the fact they humiliate their prophet each time they open their mouth. Because wherever we go, wherever you go, I will I will spank you. I will leave my, I have six fingers, not five. You know, I will tell you why I have six fingers later. I, I, I will put the mark of my six fingers in your bum. The same I put it in the bum of Allah. All right. Anyway, guys, we will be live on air again. Uh, maybe later, uh, I will try to make it like late, uh, at night, my time. So it's going to be morning for those who they are in Asia, so they can join us like in Indonesia, India, Philippines, etc. And uh, uh, I'm so glad that my videos are seen by millions and millions of Indonesians. Guys, my videos in Indonesia is like fire. You know fire? Fire. Islam is collapsing. You tell me, why, why in the world? A video of a Christian prince who Muslim they say his line is going to be seen by millions and millions of Muslims in Indonesia you tell me in the top of that we don't see one single one from those who call themselves Ustad the scumbag fraud who make money from those poor Indonesian there to call me live on air as long those who call me are a fraud, as you are saying, they are fake Muslims. Why those Ustad Sheikh don't call me? Question. Maybe one day we can get an answer for it. How come they have time to make a program in TV to teach you about if ice cream is halal and ice cream is haram? I mean, I, you have time for the ice cream. Look how serious the program. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Brother, me and my fiance, we went outside and she ate ice cream and I licked the same ice cream she is eating from. Somebody told me, brother, now she became forbidden for me for eating the same ice cream. Look at this garbage. Oh, hold on. I have another one. Live on air. The guy, he called the sheikh. He asked him, uh, I was with my wife, you know, in an intimate moment, and a drop of milk came from her breast. The guy, he was suckling her. Her nipples. You know what I'm talking about. A drop of milk, brother, fell into my mouth, and I swallowed it. Is she still allowed to me to be my wife, or it's haram? The Muslim believe if you take milk from somebody, they have madness, crazy religion. If you drink a milk of somebody, she became your mother. Hindu, they are they are learning that Muhammad he got that from the Hindu. So is he brother now? 
Lufa for me, brother. All not Lufa. I have ten kids from her. What? You have ten kids from her, and now because you suckle a drop of milk from her breast, she is not lawful for you. And the sheikh, like now, he is ready to answer. Bismillah, <clears throat> alhamdulillah, wa la hamdulillah, wa la And they have like all those scumbags. They have to give you a presentation, like fifteen minute presentation, praying on Muhammad, and then the answer is two second. Alhamdulillah, wa la hazrat, wa la salaam, wa salaam. Allah shalla la ilaha illa Muhammad. Allahu ma yadafta tumi, wa da kafsa kafdi tumi. I don't understand. I know this is a kini in my mouth, and may Allah bless me and bless me. And may Allah guide us to answer that. And may Allah give us that. And now, brother, the answer. No, brother, she is not forbidden for you. Next caller, please. What a scumbag! So all this prayer for fifteen time, fifteen minutes, just to tell him she is not forbidden for you. Once I called a program, this was a long time ago, and uh, I, I made everybody, you know, like, I kicked them out of the room so nobody can can hear, I mean, because they are dying laughing. So I called them, Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam, brother. Uh, what is your question, brother? You know, I said, Zidu uh, Salah al Nabi, Allahumma Salah. Which means pray on the Prophet, more prayer on the Prophet. And they repeat after me. May Allah pray on him and salute him. And said, more prayer on the Prophet. And they repeat after me. And what's also, 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 also. And then I said, and more prayer on the Prophet. The coward, they don't dare to say, like, come on, stop doing this. What is your question? Because who dare to say, stop praying on the Prophet? They will kill them. So I was standing on air, keep saying, pray on the Prophet. More prayer in the Prophet. Please, more prayer in the Prophet. And they repeat after me, Allahumma salli wa sallim wa sallim wa People outside in the house, they are in the floor. We are trying to keep them quiet. They are dying, literally. For more, almost 10 minutes, I keep saying to them, more prayer in the Prophet. They don't dare to say, for God's sake, what is your question, man? Because who dare? Who dare to say, stop praying on the Prophet? They don't dare. And then me, myself, I hang up because the, the sound of the laugh became so loud. I cannot control those guys behind me anymore. It's obvious. It's a joke. Just say more prayer than the Prophet and they repeat after you. They are like a parrot. You know the parrot? They don't dare to question what's wrong with you. Because you are saying, pray on the Prophet. More prayer on the Prophet. Please, more prayer on the Prophet. We need more prayer on the Prophet. And they repeat whatever you say. <sighs> uh, anyway, uh, we will be back live on air later, maybe. I hope you guys you have a good time. But as you see, the internet is going up and down. And uh, we have uh, too many users you know at home I hope soon they will open uh, the towns and people they can go out normally and etc and the internet will go back to normal but the brother and sisters it's confirmed that Islam is from God and the Prophet he made the tree walk and pray for him and take Shahada the tree took off her root the tree walked to the Prophet the tree say Shahada in Arabic not in the language of the tree no in the language of Prophet Muhammad and then the tree went back to its place and put her root back in the ground. All of this is confirmed scientifically to be true. And Muhammad have miracles not mentioned in the Quran. Why? We do not know. Why the Quran says Muhammad have zero miracles? The Hadith have tons of stories fabricated, obviously. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And uh, <clears throat> uh, until we see you again, maybe today soon, uh, please invite your friends. Subscribe, download my videos, and share them with your friends. And I am really thankful for those uh, 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 those who work in Asia, those who translate my videos, those who post them everywhere. It's fantastic job. It's really fantastic job. If we keep going this way, Indonesia will leave Islam as you never heard before. 
I wish I speak the Indonesian language. Maybe I should join uh, 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 like an Indonesian language school because this is a big, this is the biggest country of Muslims in the world. The biggest. If we can make Indonesia leave this cult, I mean, who's next? And they will. It's just a matter of time and knowledge. The new generation, they are learning English. And they will go and they will watch all those who defend Islam and those who expose Islam. And then you will see how Islam will collapse. All the Muslims who defend Islam, they face nothing but a failure. Allah, he prayed for not to. It doesn't say that, CP. Aisha, she was not. She was having her period. The Prophet used to take a shower. And then we find that the Prophet, Aisha, she was not in her period. It's a big fat lie. We get them busted. And then we find that the Prophet was taking shower with dead dogs. And then we find that Allah, he prayed for, not to. And then we find that they claim and they deny that Allah have hands and have feet. And then we have tons of Muslim videos by scholars of them saying Allah have an ass, Allah have a foot, Allah have a finger. The only thing they did not say that Allah have two testicles. And the reason is very simple. He lost them. He lost them debating me. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. This is a Christian Prince who was with you, and we will be like back later, maybe today. Please stay tuned, subscribe, and turn your notification. Always you will receive, uh, uh, like I post in my Facebook page, in case you don't have it. Uh, let me post it for you in the screen so you can find my Facebook. This is my Facebook, my friend. All right. Always I post there before I go live on air. And this is my page in Minds. I post there always before I go live on air. And um, what, what, what else? And you have my Patreon, which always I post there before I go live on air. So you have no excuse not to be receiving notification because YouTube sometimes uh, don't send notification. Most of the time, actually. So be with us, join us, and may the Lord bless you. Take care. Christ is Lord. Islam is nothing but a fraud. Bye-bye.